Hi, my name is Elena Osru, and today I want to talk about something that is so important to our brain health as well as our overall health and well being. This is called mind management. So, our brain is created out of a hundred billion brain cells and trillions of supporting cells. Every single morning, there are new baby neurons that are formed. This is called neurogenesis. The brain's ability to rewire, change, and grow is called neuroplasticity. Our thoughts are real and powerful things. They can literally change everything, even down to our DNA. A study by the American Medical Association said that stress is a factor in 75% of illnesses and diseases. By changing the way that we view and handle stress, we can significantly impact that our own health and wellness. When we are thinking negatively or having stressful thoughts, our brain will release chemicals that tense our muscles, that increase our heart rate. We can get stomach aches or headaches. Many of you may have experienced other negative symptoms because of stress. On the contrast, if we are thinking things that are good, um, lovely or true, um, starting the day off with gratitude or being in awe of nature, we can have a significant, amazing calm effect on our bodies. Our muscles relax, our breathing slows down, and our body is just more calm and feeling so much better. We can't stop our thinking altogether. Thoughts are flying through our brains all the time, but we can decide what thoughts to believe and which ones to not believe. It's our lack of challenging the automatic thoughts that come is where problems can arise, like increased stress, increased anxiety, panic, more symptoms of depression, and just feeling um, like you have a negative perspective. It can interfere in relationships and cause a lot of issues just by the way that we think. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is Romans 12 2. It says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Our lives can be changed by the way that we think. Um, one more verse I really like that supports a lot of the therapy work I do is 2 Corinthians 10 5. Take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. And what that means to me and to the people I work with is we just, we take these thoughts and we gather them into one space and then we begin begin one by one to examine them and test them and say, is this true? Is it true all the time? Um, who are we talking about? Who is everyone? You know, we really look at that. And if you're a believer, you can look at the Bible and what it says and say, is this true according to what I believe as well and what God says about me? We've been created with this unique ability to step outside of our own minds and observe our thinking. As we do this, we can examine what we're allowing in. And I always say to people, we are practicing thoughts. So as you practice things, you're going to end up believing them. So in order to start to change that, we've got to capture our thoughts. And in order to do that, we've got to be calm. So take some time throughout the day to pause and ask yourself, what am I thinking? Or if you're finding yourself having a strong emotional reaction to something, ask yourself, what has caused me to, to feel this way? What thought or what belief has gotten me here? One of the most important parts to capturing and looking at thoughts is to know that and to be able to be calm. And in order to do that, we cannot be thinking um, with the emotional part of our brain in our limbic system. We've got to be able to calm down in order to take that third party view in our prefrontal cortex. Um, so as you're pausing to examine your negative thoughts, it's just as important as eating, taking medicine, working out, taking supplements, doing the daily things that are important for you. It's life. Um, if we let these thoughts go, they just become automatically negative and not only affect our mental health and brain health, but our spiritual health, our physical health, and our relational health as well. Dr. Caroline Leaf, one of my favorite neuroscientists, shares, it takes 63 days to denature a negative thought and rewire a hopeful, positive thought. It's a daily practice, guys. It's a commitment. It's building a skill. But with God's strength and the strength of a supportive community, of um, supporters, a counselor, really good coach, we can move our thoughts towards a mindset of hope, health, and healing in all the areas of our lives. It just takes a moment to decide, hey, this is what I need to do for my mental health. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful and can help encourage you to take care of your brain and body. Um, I um, care about you so much and I look forward to talking with you guys again next time. Have a wonderful day.